Thanks for watching. Today we're going to show you how to create your own library within Mosaic. Uh, as you can see, we're in a bit of a different space. Here we have a 20 foot shipping container. We convert it into a little office for recording. And obviously we have a 3D printer here. We also cut all of these panels, which is OS, which are, uh, they are all OSB or Aspenite. Uh, on the CNC machine with Mosaic, we planned it all and everything in Mosaic, cut out all the outlets, breakers, light, light holes in the ceiling. Uh, that worked out so much better than what I was expecting. So make sure you're subscribed to see that video when it comes out. Uh, today, let's get into setting up your own library. Okay, so if you have Mosaic installed on a hard drive that is not networked, you're gonna wanna look for this PC, C drive, Mosaic, product libraries. In there, you're gonna find all these folders here. If you are networked, you're going to want to search for your network folder, wherever that is, your Mosaic network folder. If you have this set up, you should know where this is. And then your product libraries folder should be within that. And then it's, it's again gonna have a lot of these libraries folders right here. This one here, CNC notched fillers, that's Frost CNC. Those fillers are amazing. So go to Frost CNC download store and purchase those because they are fantastic. We're gonna do a video on that eventually. Uh, that was such amazing, uh, such an amazing thing to bring into the fold here at Hillcrest Cabinets. So we're really glad we did that. Uh, so what you're gonna wanna do is find a folder that's close to what you have. So we're gonna go, so we're gonna open up Mosaic, drag that over here. Uh, you're gonna go to your libraries, products, and here's all of the different libraries that are within Mosaic. We, uh, have our own library as you can see here when you go what you're gonna do is drop down all the libraries that are available you can get some more on in mosaics forums uh, and then you're gonna have to search find the one that's most like what you need to be if you're a frameless cabinet shop you probably want frameless v12 this will give you a general setup for frameless cabinets if you are a face frame shop, you're going to want to select face frame V12. This will give you, again, a general setup for a face frame cabinet uh, library. So once you find one that's close, I'm going to copy frameless V12. So we can leave mosaic, or actually we have to close it. So it won't show up if it's not closed and reopened. So we'll just close that. And you're going to find your library. For me, I'm going to copy Frameless V12. So right click, copy, and then click over to the side, paste. It's going to create a copy inside this folder. And if you have it highlighted, so say you have your the line highlighted with the folder that you're trying to copy. Where did it go? It's right here. Uh, you have it highlighted and you wait a second and then you click it again it'll let you rename it. Or you can select the folder, right click, and then find the rename right here. We're gonna rename it your cabinet shop. I apologize, I have the clickiest keyboard in history and a fresh new microphone that's much better than the old one library okay so we now have a folder called your cabinet shop library we're going to reopen mosaic just waiting for it to open up here okay so uh we're going to go to products or libraries products and as you can see, you have your cabinet shop library. Now it's built into Mosaic. Within this library, you can create your own folders. You can reorganize all the parts. What you, how to reorganize this is if you have 
a like say you want to move these around you highlight it and you just press down or up arrow on the keyboard and the sync bass will go down 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 same thing uh, if you want to pass through go beyond you can just keep going uh, another way to organize things is select the root folder and add another folder test folder okay so now I have a test folder and you can again move it up and then say you want to take something like a one door and you want to cut and then paste it into this folder now you can see it's got that additional uh, open close uh, little tab there so you can do you can organize and set up your own library however you'd like from there you can create your own parameters for your construction style I have a video on parameters I'm gonna do a deep dive on parameters uh, soon as well because I know a lot of people get confused by the parameters in mosaic and uh, yeah so that's about it thanks for watching have a great one if you're eager to dive deeper into Mosaic, enhance your shop, or explore the possibilities with CNC routers and 3D printing, you're in the right place. Your feedback drives our content, so subscribe to stay updated with the latest tutorials and tips. Watch out for our next video!